Hello and welcome to another episode of Wanna Be Entrepreneur. And today something really interesting happened. But to explain this, I have to go back, I guess, a month. As you know, I am building an app, a climate change app. The name is Change It, and the idea is to, I mean, nothing much, just to save the world. Am I right? <laughs> No, my, the idea of the app is to teach people how to live a more sustainable lifestyle. And, um, you know, there's not... Well, correction, there's a lot of apps. There's a lot of climate change apps in the Play Store, in the Apple Store. But they are, in general, not too advanced. All of them, I guess the one that has the most number of downloads is Earth Hero, which is kind of my biggest competitor. They have 10k downloads. So, I mean, that's that's nothing compared to the Instagrams and Twitters of the world. So, I guess there's a lot of space in this market, and because of that, my app, Change It, is one of the top climate change apps in the world. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost hard to say this without actually laughing, because, you know, it's a one-man show, and uh, yeah, it's, if you search for climate change app, change it will pop up in the first, I guess, top five, if you ignore the ads, of course. But uh, because of this, there's a lot of people that download the app because they are just searching for climate change, I guess. And when I say a lot, it's not that much, actually. It's about uh, 10 downloads a day or so. But it's still something, right? And um, a month ago, I got an email from uh, Dina, she is the, I guess, the head of a, an NGO in Berlin. It's called Circular Berlin, and she said, "Like, yeah, I, I really like your app, and um, I want to talk with you for a possible collaboration." And I got back to her, and she didn't answer. I was like, "Okay, then uh, what do we do when someone doesn't answer?" What I thought you already. You send another message. I sent another email. And then she answered. I think like one day after or something. Apologizing and saying that she was on vacation. But we booked a meeting that I just uh, had today. And uh, yeah. So basically it's a super cool organization. It's called Circular Berlin. As I said. And it's uh, it's focused on circular economy. And uh, promoting and developing projects in this area. And uh, it's an NGO. And, but I was super curious. I asked her, like, how did you find out about Change It? And she said that uh, every once in a while, she checks the Play Store for climate change apps, what is new. And she downloaded three apps and she loved Change It. It's actually the only app that she's using, even on top of uh, her Thero, which is kind of, as I said, the biggest competitor. And she said, yeah, she just downloaded it. She saw that she could somehow calculate her CO2, which I guess all of the other apps do it. But uh, one thing that she really loved was the notifications, the personalized notifications that our app uh, sends to the users. And that's something that's unique. That's part of our USP, unique selling point. And um, yeah, it got me super excited. Just the fact that someone, a professional, you know, in this area, she's an economist and, and she loved the app. It really got me super excited. And um, also, I asked her why didn't she use Earth Hero. She said that uh, since they required for you to create an account, that was immediately a deal breaker. So I guess there's a lot of ad advantages for using Changeit. And uh, it's, it's great to have this validation every once in a while, you know, when it's, it's these kind of things, you know, it's these kind of things that keep me going, to be honest. This is the fuel, you know, nice reviews, nice comments. It's the fuel that keeps me going. Otherwise, I would have quit a long time ago. And um, yeah, she, they have a lot of assets, a lot of resources. I asked them, one of the questions I try to ask organizations is, what are your biggest challenges? And um, and I tried to figure out how can change it actually help there. And uh, I, when I asked this, she told me that the biggest challenges is uh, mostly getting around all the funding because there's a lot, you know, a lot of paperwork to be done to get this funding and also to spread the word. So they have what they are called, they call the, an ecosystem, uh, 
which basically anyone that has organizations, especially in Berlin, around circular economy, they can sign in, they can register, and they kind of showcase all of these projects. And they want to convert these people into members. And the member, it can be an organization or one person, and they basically pay a fee to be part of this, uh, this NGO, this organization. And that's also one of their challenges, to convert this ecosystem into members and to showcase their products. And I thought, okay, that's perfect. Then change it can probably help because my biggest problem is to get proper content and I want to get personalized content. So then the idea came to why not onboard these organizations, give them a tool that so that they can write notifications for change it. And uh, that's what I proposed to them. She said that uh, it seemed like a great idea but she still has to basically align with uh, with the uh, with the members of the NGO making sure that they are okay with us using that data but you know it's great to start creating these connections and one thing that she told me is that in Berlin it seems that the sustainability topic it's kind of booming there's a lot of startups a lot of you know accelerators helping these kind of organizations and I've been thinking for so long that I really need some help. I really need some investment. But I, I don't want to go the VC way because, I don't know, I, f I think that VCs and sustainability just do not match. So she gave me a bunch of interesting links. I, in the end, I also asked her if it would be okay or possible because they have a newsletter. So if it would be possible for them to share, change it in their newsletter... I had to try this, but uh, she says that uh, for now it's still not possible possible because the newsletter is only about circular economy and um, change it is more about CO2 footprint. But maybe in the future we can also do this. So yeah, this this was the talk I had today. It got me super excited and got me thinking that I should, you know, try to net create a bigger network in the sustainability area and try to get some funding and some support in that area and and i guess that's also crucial both for this and also for podcasts uh, trying to increase your network is always always good and uh, this was today's episode yeah today i want to do also something uh, something interesting so i want to know more about you so i will create the thread on twitter a tweet and i will um, ask a question i will ask a question about change it yeah wh what is the thing that uh, have you installed change it and uh, i will link this tweet in the description of this episode and i want to hear from you so just uh, go there and uh, introduce yourself and let me know if you install change it or not I just want to see if it's uh, cool to have this kind of use Twitter as a platform to, to hang out with you, the listeners. So the link will be in the description. This was another wannabe entrepreneur. See you tomorrow.